are your organisational skills? My organisational skills? Um, Organising everything can be difficult, particularly when it comes to things like annual leave and so on. So if, whenever I need a week off on annual leave, I need to negotiate with three different employers and uh, check three different calendars and so on. So that's obviously difficult. Time management can be an issue when you're doing portfolio working, uh, particularly as a GP partner, whereby I have some partnership responsibilities in addition to my clinical responsibilities in the surgery. That being said, one of the reasons why I opted to drop my sessions when I became a partner was in order to make sure that I was having sufficient amount of spare, for want of a better word, time in my week. It's not that difficult splitting up your week. You, you kind of get into a little routine. I suppose I'm probably more flexible than most people. It works really well and actually I've got two kids so I'm normally really fixed about my schedule. As long as I finish at a certain time and start at a certain time, anything in between is kind of easy. I think um, it's something that I constantly struggle with if I'm really honest and I, I know that a lot of colleagues who juggle two part-time roles also struggle with this so I think what, one of the things I've learned is to admit that you're human and that uh, really in, in anyone you talk to who juggles two part-time roles no matter what their profession always says that it's quite hard so um, admitting that you're human is the number one step and then admitting that you probably won't be able to catch everything as it goes past immediately um, is the way that things are going to be. Um, and then it, you do the best that you can. With regards to my family life, um, I'm a gay GP, so that makes uh, me uh, a little bit unusual for my patients. They've never encountered a gay GP before working in my surgery. Um, one of the good things about my career is that I am able to choose at times to scale back on some of the um, additional responsibilities I have and purely off my clinical work. So there are uh, frequently periods whereby I'm able to take two days off in the middle of a working week and have a clear weekend as well. I'm, I'm married and I have a, a little child, a little boy, um, and we hopefully have one on the way as well. Um, so it is difficult to, to juggle it all. My husband is a hospital doctor, uh, he's an anaesthetist, uh, so we've had to balance uh, my work uh, with his, which is a full shift working pattern. Um, and uh, it is hard. I think uh, when you have a child, the key to it is having really good childcare. Um, and someone said that to me, uh, I think when my son was born and I took that uh, to heart, we're very fortunate we have a very flexible childminder um, and she certainly makes a big difference to, um, to our, our work-life balance. Um, I think a portfolio career balances really well with a young family. Um, I have certain fixed commitments um, and I'm really lucky that I have a husband who's well, am I lucky he's not a medic? I think I'm lucky he's not a medic because it means that he's probably a bit more flexible than I am. Um, but it means that I have specific days when I know I have to be free to pick the kids up and on other days of the week he'll do it and then we have obviously childcare and family. Um, so it just means that I can say when I'm organising my schedule that on that particular day I have to be free by this time and then really the rest of it fits around that. So I found it much less stressful because I'm dictating my own schedule and if then there's an event at school, a parents evening or something that I want to go to, I'm not trying to fit in with anybody else, I can please myself and if I choose to take that time off, I take it off.